Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Smoke, and welcome to Reaction Hype. It's a new thing that we're starting. This is the very first one. Hopefully, they'll get better and better along the way. So, now, third tune in. It's the one up right there, uh, off grid, it's called. I'm just going to go into it. Tune in. I think the one thing I'd like to, do, like to take away from anything that I say today is this one point. That nothing, nothing in this world works the way you think it does. Nothing. The people will always support what they want to hear. You will find the one thing that people, generally speaking, do not want to hear is the truth. This place we live in is madness. I'm so sick of God's shit. All I'm seeing is sadness. The way we live is toxic. I've got absolute mind control. I meditate in a mosh pit. I'm so close to buying my land. Just wait till I'm living off grid. I won't need gold or 24 carats. I've got some cabbage and many more carrots. I won't need money. I won't need peas. I've got some pumpkins and I'll grow peas. I won't need cash. I won't need shops. I'll buy some land and then grow some crops. And I won't need loans. I won't need banks. I'll build a house and then grow some plants. When you begin to break down how government works, banks work, you begin to see a whole world that you've never known. It's and so what we are told and given to understand is not the truth. My time is precious, so I won't waste it watching loads of channels. No. We'll buy some foods on land and a hundred tons of stone and gravel. When I build my eco village, yeah. I'm building a Roman castle. Oh, and I buy some wind turbines, Listen. and I buy solar panels. Blah. I'm a mad scientist, yes. I'm building a Tesla coil. Genius. Everyone thinks I'm crazy, so I just wrap my head up in foil. Crazy. I will grow some medical, potent cannabis plants and collect the oil. Why? I grow my food in a greenhouse, chemtrails that affect the soil. Pharmaceutical drugs kill about 300,000 people a year, and yet they have a war on drugs which killed less than 30,000 people a year. 300,000 people die. That that business is just. There's only two choices: love or fear. You pick one. Ah. This world is nearly dead. We need a new kingdom. We need to leave these cities and live in nature when the new spring comes. Wow. I'm talking truth. It's not false facts. It's all true fiction. Everyone's saying I'm sick. But I don't get flu symptoms. My plant-based diet is vegan. Trums, trums, trums. My guy. People say I'm sick, but I don't get flu symptoms. People say I'm sick, but I don't get flu symptoms. I. As much as there's all stuff about government, chemtails, psilocybin mushrooms, everything he says, you may think is slightly lied or slightly stretched, you know, like, whatever. That is one bar that is true. People say he's sick. It's fact. He is. And, oh, that bar there just, just, jeez, jeez. Let's go again. You just built up my immune system. Yes. I ain't been to the doctors in a long time. I just use wisdom. Me neither. More epigenetics. You need to research into Bruce Lipton. Oh, wait. I have to check that out. Mm. Uh, research. My research yeah. revealed conclusively that the environment in which the cells live determines genetic activity. So it's complete opposite of what I was teaching in medical school. So stress hormones physically shut off the immune system. When you're under stress, that's when sickness starts to show up. Now it's time to wake up because our negative thinking is, is manifesting a negative life experience. I knew it. And uh, if you I could put it. this kind of healing that I'm talking about into a capsule or tablet, they'd be talking about it right now. But this is a consciousness healing, and, and you can't sell it. And so what's the result? They're not interested in it. And they, through their money, which is massive, actually determine the curriculum in a medical school. Uh, and the idea is, well, what's relevant? Well, if you understand epigenetics, you don't need the pharmaceutical industry. Mm -hmm. That's fact. Just to break it down for you guys there, what he was on about is, so say if, for example, um, if you go to school, or if you go to college, or if you are working, then that is three places you in a sense have to go to but nobody wants to right so 
if you go there thinking, oh, I'm going to have a bad day, I'm not liking it, I don't like this place, this, that, and the other, you will have a bad day and you will never like the place and so on. But if you change your thinking to positive and think, okay, I may not like this place, but I know at the end of the day, I'm going to be getting GCSEs or paid or so on, whatever. And if you change every negative thing, and flip it somehow in no matter what shape or form it is as long as you turn it from a negative to a positive you will become more positive and have a better outlook on life and that is fact that is pure fact and you may not believe me you may think oh who's this there now what's he talking about uh, uh. just give it a try and if if nothing changes then nothing changes but if it does, you will see and you will know that I am talking truth right now. And I've listened to Traumatic enough to know that this is truth. And I've done it myself, personally. So, try to take that on board. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm not forcing you. But I am going to force you to like to Traumatic. Like, his tunes are just absolutely hard. Now let's go to next tune.